Hey everyone, welcome back to Mastering Maize and Blue. Uh, this is another episode of our informational series uh, designed for first year and transfer students, for students just like you. This is our opportunity to share with you all of the amazing things that are taking place here on U of M Dearborn's campus. I am Solomon Dudley, your host for today's episode. Um, I'm the orientation program assistant um, currently, and I'm so excited to be talking with you all. Um, as of right now, I am a health and human services major with a concentration in public health. Uh, involvement on campus, um, as it can fit on the screen as of right now, includes team management for ice hockey and men's lacrosse, as well as a community assistant at the union, um, at the union with Dearborn. So, Today we have a special guest, Mr. Jordan Wool. Uh, he is a, an alumni, uh, that's really cool to say. He is an alumni of University of Michigan Dearborn, as well as an amazing person, extremely connected. Um, but today he will be putting his leasing manager and assistant property manager hat on with the union at Dearborn. So Mr. Wool, welcome to Mastering Maze and Blue. Thank you. That was a great intro. I have to start bringing you around everywhere I go. I'm going to have to need that intro wherever I go. Thank <laughs> no you for problem. that. I'll record it and then you can just hit play. <laughs> just uh, have it playing wherever I go. No problem. Thank you for that. No problem. So today we are talking about the union at Dearborn. Um, I am a community assistant, but I would love to hear from you. This is what you eaten, sleep, slept, and breathe over the past like four years that you were on campus. So if you could just tell our audience what you love about the union at Dearborn, why students should be here, and anything else you'd like to share. Yeah, I mean, thanks for that, Solomon. So I mean, I guess I'll give a bit of an intro. Um, so I just recently graduated from the University of Michigan Dearborn actually a couple of months ago. Um, so it, it's been quite the journey. And I started at the union at Dearborn um, four years ago, um, as a freshman coming from Massachusetts, um, did not know a single person at this university, but I was excited to go to this school, um, and I, I loved everything about it. Um, this four years have flown by, and I cannot believe that I'm moving out um, in a couple of months, and it's it's really nice to have the opportunity to not only, you know, talk to incoming freshmen about um, the experience and what we have here, but also to continue working here in the future. Um, and continue to build the culture that, in the community that we've been really working on for the past few. Um, but I mean, you know, when you have an apartment here, you walk out of your apartment and everybody around you is going through the same things that you're going through. They're students, they're students at the University of Michigan Dearborn. Um, and we really tailor the experience to really fuel a traditional college experience. We want the time that you spend at the Union at Dearborn and the University of Michigan Dearborn to be some of the best years of your life. So even with the pandemic and everything going on, we're doing everything we can to ensure that you have the most positive resident experience and that you have fond memories of this place like I do and several other residents that have used, you know, lived here in the past. Um, and you, you end up with so many great stories and memories. I can just think of a few off the top of my head of volleyball tournaments and everything that we've done. Um, and you, you won't regret it. It's definitely an incredible experience, but not to mention, you know, all of the things that we also offer within the lease as well. So, I mean, you get not, not only is it a dorm-like experience, a traditional housing experience, but you're getting a, a real apartment out of it as well. So instead of having to share a bedroom uh, with another person, like in a bunk bed, you have a, you know, a lot of other colleges. You'd have your own bedroom and bathroom in most floor plans that we have. Um, in other floor plans, you just have to share a bathroom with one other person if that's what you'd like to do. Um, and it comes fully furnished. It comes with all utilities included, and it's extremely nice as well. Um, if you compare it to any you know, other student housing, you know, at other universities, it doesn't compare. Um, we definitely would love to have you over um, for a tour. You can also do a virtual tour online to kind of see what it looks like, but it's nice for sure. Um, I mean, at least for me for the past four years, I've lived in a loft apartment in the union. Uh, so we have like two story ceilings, um, upgraded, you know, furniture and amenities and things like that, a washer and dryer in my apartment, um, but it comes with everything included. So um, that's something you really should take advantage of. You don't have to bring a bed. You don't have to bring an oven or a microwave, it all comes included. So I guess that brings us to our next question. Um, so once everything, uh, the whole application process is finished for the incoming student, 
uh, what do they need to bring with them on moving day uh, besides their besides themselves and their excitement for school? Yeah, so I mean, I guess I'll start by saying what you don't need to bring. So you don't need to bring a TV. You don't need to bring any sort of cable. That'll all come included with the room. You're not going to need a Wi-Fi router because high-speed internet also comes with it. You're not going to need a fridge. You're not going to need a microwave. You're not going to need a stove stop. You're not going to need a dishwasher. I don't know how you'd bring one, but you're not going to need one. Um, you're not going to need a bed. You're not going to need anything like that. Um, what you will want to bring um, is bedding. So uh, like sheets, blanket, pillow, things like that. You'll want to bring clothing. Um, if you have roommates in the room, um, you're definitely going to want to talk to them about bringing silverware, um, about bringing dishes and pots and pans as well. Um, you will want to bring that. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, sparing school supplies and a few toiletries. I mean, everything else will come with the room. Um, you won't have to worry about bringing your own mattress, your own desk, all of those things come included. Easy enough. <laughs> so, so easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember when I was, uh, when I moved here, because I, you know, obviously had to go across the country, I flew here, and then I sent uh, three boxes worth of things, like, with, like, UPS uh, to, like, to the union. Uh, that's all that I needed. I'm still here four years later. Crazy. Um, yeah, I, I just remember my move-in day. I, I, I started in winter 2019. Yeah. So, um, it was cold cold January I think it was January 1st <laughs> um that we that I moved in with my dad and um I just remember the day it was kind of cold but the welcoming community that was here at the union really did take my mind off of I guess the negatives of Michigan um yeah as I got here some of the I guess you can say anxieties just kind of went away um of course it was a new chapter in my life so um because I transferred from one institution to another. So just coming in and into this new space and this new environment, it was really different, but yeah. it made me feel welcome. And I want to reciprocate that. I, I, I try to reciprocate that same welcoming energy that I was welcomed with to future students like yourselves. Um, so as we transition into the next question, um, of course, college life can be very busy, um, especially if you do get involved on campus. Uh, you definitely have to take time for yourself, um, as well as just making sure that you're not spending everything, all the time studying, but you also take some time to get to know those around you. Um, so I, that's why I love the union so much, is that you, you have the ability to meet people you have you get to meet like why or like-minded students um who have the same dream same vision same purpose as you um of course within their own right but jordan what else is there to do besides studying and, and going to class and participating in student orgs on campus uh what is there to do on this side of um at the unit at dearborn yeah, I mean, I can, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, I can go on about all of the events that we do. I mean, uh, last year I, I coordinated like a, a Fortnite and Nuggets event where I bought like 400 frozen chicken nuggets and some veggie nuggets as well. And we just like played Fortnite. Uh, we do a lot of wacky stuff, but I mean, beyond that, I mean, the four pillars of the union uh, is friends, family, future, and um, oh my goodness, how am I not remembering this? Hold oh. on. It's friends, family, success, in Rent. school oh my god the, the ceo is going to kill me but it's fine all right you get the idea but i mean the uh at the uni here i mean everybody is a family i mean we're all one really good night you know nice tight-knit group and you know we have the events we have student success programming as well uh we work with the university to provide tailored workshops for incoming freshmen who live at the union to have success coaching and you know talk about the life and rigor of you know being a freshman but beyond that, I mean, the roommates that you have and the people that you meet here, some of my favorite memories of this property come from just those random nights uh, when you just go to somebody's room and just you just have a good time. You watch a movie or you just go out to the Fairleigh Town Center, which is right next door. Or you just do just something just random and just have fun. Um, and, you know, having a community that has over 600 college students just all together, you're bound to just have a good time uh, and meet some really, really cool people. So... I mean, there's there's so much to do that we put on as a you know as a property 
I mean, we, you know, back in our heyday, you know, before, you know, the coronavirus pandemic, we were doing one event a week. Um, and it was anywhere from video game tournaments to ping pong tournaments to, uh, we had paint the U, which was, uh, we would hire somebody to come in um, and we would like teach you how to do a painting. Um, I even dressed up as Bob Ross for one of them. Um, we do pizza parties. We do anything that you guys can possibly imagine. Uh, there's also a basketball court, 24 seven fitness center. We have a resident arcade. Uh, complete with PlayStation 4s, Xbox Ones. Um, we have a foosball table, air hockey, bubble, not air hockey, bubble hockey, um, anything you can imagine. Um, but I mean, beyond all of that, it's just the community just makes it so unique. Uh, and the friendships and relationships that you can make here are really all the difference. Um, and I mean, when you're in this atmosphere um, and you're not commuting and you're here every single day, it's just such a different experience because uh, you find people to study with and you're just fully immersed in the experience and you, you'll be surprised by the, the amount of growth uh, that you'll have by just being here. Yeah, I would, I would completely agree with that. Um, it's been like my, I want to say it's like I've been here a short time, but it, time just keeps on moving. And then in a few semesters, actually in one semester will be like two years. So it's crazy at how long yeah. I've been here, but also how much has taken place in such a short amount of time. And I credit mm -hmm lot to the union like it's been yeah a fantastic experience just being able to grow into this into this person that I knew was always there but I didn't know where he was mm -hmm. but I don't know where he is I found him I am him <laughs> yeah am person. and um it like that it doesn't have to have to do with college but just life and it just happens that yeah in this chapter in life like college is taking place so uh, this yeah. is one of those cool experiences and places where you can grow into that person. and the Yeah, you be the person you want to be. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, like, for most of our residents, I would say 99% of them, this is the first time that they're living out of home. Um, and I mean, just speaking to my own experience, I mean, this was the first time that I lived outside of my parents' house. Um, and so, you know, learning to be an adult and learning to, you know, uh, fend, my, fend for myself in a kind of a way, but, you know, also making those unique relationships and going out and getting a job and like doing all those different things. Like that was huge. And like, I mean, looking to where I was in 2016 as a freshman, uh, to where I am now with a beard. Don't worry, I didn't have a beard when I was 18. That'd be nuts. Um, it's, it's truly, it's, it's all the difference. Uh, and I mean, Sal, you talk about like finding yourself. I mean, that's, that's everything here. Cause you I mean, you're with like-minded people. Uh, you're with people who are, you know, thinking the same things. They want to be successful and they want to do well here. Um, and, you know, they want to be independent and they, you know, want to, to learn what it, you know, kind of means to take that next step. Um, and, I, you know, now that I'm, you know, looking at my diploma, my fresh diploma I just got from the University of Michigan, Dearborn, I'm, you know, sitting in my office now. It's, it's incredible to reflect on, you know, the four years that I've had here and just, you know, how much this place has facilitated that, that growth and success. And, I do, you know, now that the hamster wheel is turning, I now remember what the logo means. So it's four parts. And so it's friends, family, school, and success. So now I get to keep my job. That's what the <laughs> logo means. I cannot believe that I, I messed that up. The first you, you, were, you kept going right after you realized that you messed up. And I was like, I... You're I, just like, where are we keep going? Yeah, what? <laughs> success. And then, you, and then you said everything else. I'm like, oh, shoot, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's show biz the show must go on it's 550 it's 552 on a wednesday i'm uh, i'm running on five percent brain capacity but it's okay i mean you know this is uh we're, we're so excited to have this opportunity to, to share the experience with you guys. yeah i i, I yeah. the word facilitate just came to mind um like yeah facilitates everything that you just mentioned so like the friends the future the success in schools like they where we, we were able to um, facilitate discussions and the events and, and the conversations within all four of those domains. And yeah, you being here, it's in the student being here, it really does show like how much you're able to do that. And the yeah. community truly fosters itself to do that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would definitely say so. I mean, like, all right, so if you look at, like, these photos that we have here, so, like, the one on the bottom left, um, that was from a video game tournament that we did with uh, Delta Sig, or Delta Sig, which is uh, a fraternity that we have on campus, 
Um, and that was just a collaboration that we had where we brought, you know, our residents down and they were, get, they were able to interact with some of the members of the fraternity um, and play video games and hang out. Um, and that was just a cool opportunity for residents to kind of get us a, a chance and an understanding of what Greek life looks like on our campus and to interact with people who were also interested in video games. You see too, like, we have the volleyball court and I have like so many like just fun memories on that court and like the tournaments that we've had and just interacting with people. Uh, the middle one, um, oh goodness, that was our, uh, our Uno and Potatoes event. One of, one of the classics, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they gave me a promotion to leasing manager from marketing because I think they were sick of these uh, random, you know, events, Fortnites and Nuggets and Uno and Potatoes, they had it. But uh, <laughs> this, is one of the, this is one of the last events that I, I did uh, it was a Uno tournament, and then I spent over two hundred dollars on at you know Gordon Food Service on as many different potato items that I could find. So hash browns, French fries, waffle fries. Um, oh, what else was there? Mashed potatoes. It was disgusting, but it was so much fun. Uh, people had a great time. We also had cider, which was kind of a weird mix, but it was the fall, so I had to do it. Uh, good times in the fall. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky stuff. Wacky stuff. <laughs> The creativity that you that you get to have here is amazing. It's uh, fun because it's like, you know, especially because, I mean, you know, when you work here and we'll talk about, you know, kind of the benefits we, you know, we pay your rent uh, when you work for us. But um, when you work here, I mean, you guys are really taking ownership of the event ideas. And when you sit down and think about it, you know, we're like, we're trying to find events for the next month. And it's like, I can do, we can do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and that's, you know, there's just so much room for that. And, uh, I mean, going to, yeah, that word facilitates, the, you know, the resources that we have here really, you know, allows us to have that creativity. Gotcha. So um, how big is the union? Um, and you can answer that in many different ways, however you would like to um, feel free. Of course, there are yeah. of one of our floor plans, but just feel free to share however you'd like to, to take key with that. How big is the union? Uh, well, I guess I'll just answer it with two words. Uh, very big. So uh, we, we, we have, uh, you know, from year in to year out, we can hold up to 603 students and we have hit capacity the past few years. Um, if you're going into a standard four bedroom, four bathroom apartment, all of the leases are separate. So you'll get your own bedroom and bathroom. Uh, you won't be held to a contract with the other three people. It's just yours. Um, our typical four bed, four bath is 1,412 square feet. Um, I mean, if you even look at like the bedroom that you see on the bottom right corner, yeah, it has its own air conditioning unit, all the furniture included. It's not too shabby, eh? But uh, that type of floor plan, if you were to go to, you know, any university that's near where my high school was in Danvers, Massachusetts, that's a, that's a two bedroom apartment or a two bedroom dorm. Uh, so uh, that's just such an important thing to keep in mind as well. And you also get a really good look at the furniture too. I'm like pointing at my screen. No one knows where I'm pointing. But if you look at like the, the right side of the screen too, you see what the kitchen looks like. The left side, you see what the common area looks like. It's spacious. Um, it's, there's room for entertaining. There's room to socialize. Uh, in our most common floor plan, the four by four, like I said, I mean, you get to interact with your roommates, but also have that privacy, which is so important. So I mean, as an incoming freshman, you're going to get to know people and you're going to get to hang out, get to socialize and have that fun time. And, you know, it will facilitate that. But also when it's time to get serious and crack down and study and you need that alone time, you can have that also. And that's that makes the world of a difference uh, when you can have it, you know, both ways. Uh, and I'll just keep I'll just keep rolling. I'll just, you know, don't even ask the question. I'll just keep going. What's included? Uh, so let's talk about the photos you see there. So that's the basketball court. It's a half court. So there's two uh, hoops. There's a hoop on the left side of that. Um, they, there's not the image, but there is two hoops. Um, a lot of fun memories from that court as well. Uh, we were going to try, uh, before the pandemic started, we were going to try like a lease special. And if you hit like a half court shot, which is basically just a full court shot in that gym, uh, we would give you a month off rent. And we all like, everyone in the office tested it and none of us made it. It was pretty embarrassing. I hit rim though. I hit rim. Uh, but a lot of fun memories in that basketball court. Uh, you also see the fitness center below that 24 seven. Um, it's going to be always open for you. We just upgraded it as well. So that'll be available for you too. Um, in addition, you get everything included in the lease. So water, electricity, air conditioning, heat, furniture, Wi-Fi, cable, all of our resident events, all of that's included. Um, not to mention the furniture as well um, that we've been talking about. 
all of it comes at one price. So if you're looking at a normal apartment or a house, you're going to have to pay for your electricity bill, you're going to pay a water bill, you're going to pay a cable bill. All these things are coming included at zero charge for you. So if you're the type of person who you know takes a 20 minute shower. I mean, please don't because you know we're trying to save the planet. But you could, and it would be to no charge to you. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind, and is really important to know, especially when you're looking at the price. That everything comes included with it. In addition, you also get the resident events. Such a fun time. I mean, besides the the wacky stuff we're talking about with Fortnite and Nuggets and you know Uno and potatoes, uh, we also have our our pizza parties, um, our video game tournaments, um, everything like that. We also have a Union Olympics once every semester, um, and it's it's what you would imagine. It's just random nonsense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was the funny we had pr i don't even you know i'll i'll, I'll save the surprise when, when you guys get here I can say that. we also have laundry facilities several of our rooms actually have their own washers and dryers, so you can definitely explore those options those are selling out quickly so you want to get to those soon but we also have laundry rooms on every floor if you don't have a washing machine in your room so you'll be able to use them as well um we have the basketball court like i mentioned uh we have the zip car station so if you don't come with a car I actually just got my first car. Car I just graduated. All four years here, I did not have a car. Uh, it's okay if you don't have a car. Uh, Zipcar is there. It's basically you pay like an hourly rate, um, and you pay for insurance once yearly. It's like ninety dollars, um, and it's like seven dollars an hour, and you can take the car whenever you want. Um, so like if you you know want to like take the car on a Sunday for three hours, so like get your hair cut, get groceries, and just like go out for a little bit, twenty dollars a week for you know car. It's not too bad. Um, and yeah, the community with like-minded students is everything. I mean, I came here knowing nobody but my grandma in Birmingham. And I mean, I've met friends for life. Like, I mean, there's a group um, of friends that I have that I go camping with every year. And we like, those will be the friends for, that I have for the rest of my life. And I met them because of this place. So, I mean, I'm definitely, you know, owe a ton to this place um, in that community. And it's, it, you can't put a price on stuff like that. So, yeah, I yeah, I said, yeah, go ahead. I came knowing not a single person and that's yeah. scary. that is scary yeah um, tell a lot of people come in it's pretty surprising most people don't know a single person coming in not at all and now i look at like my snapchat or like my my text or, or my contacts and a majority are from this campus and, and that, yeah yeah that's it's, it's not just cool because i know a lot of people now but it's because you you're part of this community and there is such a community feel like you yeah. really want to stay apart and you want to participate and you want to engage. And yeah. It's like the more you start engaging, you, you're going to, you're going to meet people and then yeah. people will get to know you. So it's almost like you would have to leave this school. You would have to leave Michigan for them to not contact you. So it's like, <laughs> even then you'll still have those friends yeah like, once you get connected like you're connected and you're in yeah part but you're connected and that's really something cool about the union is like the, they facilitate like you guys facilitate we facilitate um some really cool things that students will remember forever and this is college, yeah. this is college so i really appreciate yeah it. and i mean like another thing too is like i mean you're gonna get i mean you know don't freak out like all of everyone who's just graduated from high school, you'll still know your, you know, friends from high school, but like all my friends in our college, like from college and like, I had to like slow down my Snapchat had like 700 people on it just because of the union. Like it was ridiculous. I had to like, I had to chill. I mean, it was, it was nuts. Uh, but I mean, just the, the number of connections to it. And it's like, when you're not commuting and you're here, like you're not splitting time between your friends back home and your friends here. You're going to get, you know, you of course are keeping in touch with your friends there, but like, you know, back home, I do still from Danvers, uh, Massachusetts, but I mean, holy cow, it's just such a different world when you're here and you're, you're fully engaging with the experience and you're joining student organizations and you're going to sporting events, um, all those things. I mean, um, I came in with very, you know, very mixed expectations. I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I mean, years later, it's just the, the relationships, the connections, the on-campus experiences. I mean, I did a TED talk with my best friend last fall, um, things like that. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. And we did that all here. I met him here at the union. So I uh, just kind of talked to I mean, if you want to find that TED talk, feel free to catch me on Instagram. It's on there. Uh, but uh, we talk about our experiences here, experiences on the university. Amazing. Um, so... Just a quick question before I give contact info. Yeah. 
fun facts about you that um, <laughs> you think we should know or that you think we should know. And feel free to share. We're all ears. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, it's solid. I mean, you know me well. I love talking about myself. Uh, <laughs> um, I love to draw. Um, you can, uh, if you go to my Instagram, which is jwoolly, uh, J-W-O-H-L-L-Y, uh, you'll find my art page as well. Um, feel free to check that out. Um, I did a TED Talk with my best friend. I met the union. Um, I was homecoming king here back in 2018. Uh, I also ran for student government president uh, in 2018 as well. That was a crazy time. So um, I made the most out of my experience at the University of Michigan Dearborn, and I'm so grateful for the relationships and connections that I have. So grateful that I'm still here. Uh, I will be going to grad school in the fall uh, at Wayne State, but I still plan on working here and continuing to build this community. So Solomon and I are both so excited to meet all of you and to get you into this community. And you will not regret the decision to move here uh, and to be a part of this place because it will change your life. And I can truly promise you that. Amazing. Um, so contact info, uh, if you are able to see the screen, uh, just go to union at dearborn.com. Um, union at dearborn.com. Feel free to call the office. Um, we are glad to answer any questions. That's 313-277-5888. I know the number by heart. I could have. <laughs> it's either it's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. Um, sometimes I, I, I either read off the union's phone number or my phone number. And it's yeah. like, I'm, I'm getting bubble tea and I'm like, they're asking for my phone number. And then. Yeah, I always say the office number. I'm like, wait, that's not my number. I was like, wait, like, hold on. <laughs> No, I do the same thing. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And yeah, feel free to call. Ask for Solomon. Ask for me. Um, I'm here 40 hours a week. Um, I mean, we're here to you know answer any questions that you have. Uh, we're here to help. I mean, even about the university too. Uh, I mean, we're always here to promote the community and promote the student experience. So um, anything you guys need at all, uh, that's what we're here for. You've heard it from the man himself. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Wool, for coming on and for accepting the invitation to share the good news about the union. Uh, I greatly appreciate it just from my own personal experience. Um, of course, there are so many other students, but from, from my perspective, I'm so glad for the union and mm -hmm. this is truly a great place to be. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Of course. And now we both get paid to say nice things about the union, but we promise you this all is real. We love this place. I'd be saying this if I didn't have this job. Um, and we look forward to having you all here soon uh, so we can bring you on to this experience. So my friends, that has been another episode of Mastering Maze and Blue uh, with orientation. So if you are ready to keep Mastering Maze and Blue, please do uh, check out umdearborn.edu forward slash Mastering Maze and Blue. You will find podcast episodes from the past and going forward on ITS or technology, uh, from student life, student engagement, uh, counseling and psychological services, the list goes on. I would truly forget something. Um, that's why I'm going to stop listing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so athletics, <laughs> athletics, uh, social justice and inclusion. There's, it, it literally goes on, I'm starting to forget. Um, but the point is, there's so much that you'll be able to learn about. Uh, just plug in, follow us, um, Dearborn Orientation, um, at Dearborn Wolverine. So that's gonna be Dearborn, D-E-A-R, born, B-O-R-N, Wolverine. You can follow our orientation leaders there, um, events that we're doing, Master Maze and Blue, Hey Wolverines, list goes on. Please check us out. We are so excited to get you plugged in to the amazing campus that we have been a part of for how long we've ever been here. So <laughs> please, please, please check us out. We are so excited to get you plugged in and to become an official Dearborn Wolverine. Absolutely. Excited to have you here. That's been Mastering Maze and Blue. My name is Solomon Dudley and we are signing off. We will see you guys soon.